Welcome back, you guys. This is the Syndra, continuing my EU4 campaign as Holland. And it is off onto a slow start. Uh, but then again, oh, thank you. This is the HRE, and it's going to be slow no matter what, right? No matter what I decide to do here. This is not going to be a fast conquest, is it? So, we have states. What's wrong with you? Oh, you need control. You need 15%. Okay. Uh, 14.9. Well. So, I guess you need 11 development to be happy. There we go. Take that one then. Hey, look at that. You're happy. Go. Go away. I could la raise some levies from you. Eh, it's fine. Eh, it's fine. Give me this. Let's just go to speed 4, because we need to recover and let our aggressive expansion drop a, a bit. But I would like to go to war with Utrecht at some point here. Ooh, France declares war on Burgundy. They cite conquest. Uh, we could go to war, I suppose. And grab some stuff from him. Can We, we can call in England... On favors. I can declare war on you. I can call in. I can declare war on Brabant and call in England on, f uh, on promise of territory. Uh, you know what? Let's do that. We can make some money out of this at least, and we can give England some piece of Burgundy before France takes it all. But uh, essentially, I'm just gonna be sitting back and watching England. Kill some stuff, and we can give some of these states to him. Like, we can give these three just to England, just to make him a bit stronger against France in the future. Uh, you don't have to be here. You can just go back protecting trade. Thank you. Ooh, a new champion of the Joust. We get a hundred tradition general, but we lose 25 prestige and 10 legitimacy. At uh, 25, I'm gonna be. My legitimacy is going to be gone, but I don't care. I want a hundred tradition. What the fuck is that? That is a hundred tradition? I got robbed. I got so robbed. Holy shit. Okay, I need my ruler to die. My legitimacy is absolutely horrible. I, I, I know it's because of... Uh, Unlawful territory. I know that, but still, but still, it should be. It should not be this bad. So we do have aggressive expansion impact minus five. Uh, Soft support. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we can do monarch points. So monopoly charters. Do we go up to seventy-five? Uh, I think we should. Can we, though? Because we're behind on Diplo stuff. You're worth 15, so that's exactly 75. Okay, fine. Give me this. Six support. Oh, you guys are not that powerful. Should I give the clergy some land? Yeah, there we go. Take this. So we need 23 more influence. We could do 15 here. And then do emissary to Pope. Yeah. Demand admin. We can do call diet. Give me a general. Oh, really? Fine. We can just do 100 military points then. But I'm going to take your levies then. Give me that. Too many leaders. Well, I got to say the 100 tradition general was kind of shit. Yeah, we'll get rid of this guy. 2-1. 100 Tradition General with like 3-0-3-1. That's 7 pips. There is the revolt I was waiting on from the Friesland uh, conquest. That costed me a lot of dudes. Liege declares war on Burgundy. These guys are trying to siege down my capital. I wish they wouldn't. England, I need your help here. England, where are your troops? You're getting the shit kicked out of you. Uh, it seems that f like they're ignoring their war with France and going right for me, which is not cool. 
Can you get like four disease outbreaks in a row, please? Uh, Burgundy is a great power, really. Are they a great power, though? Are they? Austria declares war on Baden. All right. Ooh. So they ran away. Good, good, good. Leave my capital alone. It's been devastated enough. It's actually almost repaired. I love the fact that forts fix devastation so fast. It is so ridiculously fast in fixing that. But you, da you guys don't have a fort, so that's unfortunate. Having a fort over here would fix that, but we would have to take this from Utrecht then. We'll see how it goes. Occupied by Holland. So you gave this to me. Nice, nice. Um, yeah. Ooh, we can do a lot of things right now. Admin tech. Workshop. Yes, give me this. I would love a workshop. What is this? Pass the heretical comperundo. Tax modifier. Yeah, give me this. I can do war cabinet. Reduces my cost of reducing war exhaustion. That was a very weird way to phrase that, but reducing war exhaustion is cheaper now. Yeah, it's good to know. It's now 49 ducats. Uh, 49 diplo. Yeah, we actually wanted to ignore diplo for now and just go for the ideas. So Liel is just taking this. Interesting. Uh, this is Liege. So they want these two territories here. Okay, okay. It's fine. Uh, England, I don't know what I can give you because you haven't managed to take anything. <laughs> so, kind of sucks for you. If I take Breda... Ooh, that's a big coalition. Uh, 56. 56, really. This is dropping by 1.5 every year. So I would have to wait like four years before I do this to avoid the coalition. But do I want to cut it that close? Do I want to cut it that close? We could just milk Burgundy for some cash, I suppose. Clear offer. So I promised them land. Yeah, they're not going to like this. Concede defeat. Basically, we get a bunch of prestige for that. Uh, release nations of Luxembourg. Cancel subjects. No. Basically, if I just demand all of your money, that would be possible, maybe. But at the moment, we are a negative war score. Which is weird, because we have... We have the war goal. We actually have the war goal, but we're just negative in war score. Alright. Alright, I guess we can just milk, milk Burgundy for some cash. Which is just as good, I suppose. Because I can't afford a coalition right now. Ah, I would so like Breda, though. Transfer trade? No. So, like, I would get 44 of these ducats. England would get most of this. Concede defeat. I would get... I would get nothing out of this. Return cores... Uh, England, you haven't really managed to grab anything here. You have high nuts over here, but I don't think I can give that to you. I don't think you can core that. So, what do we do then? Okay, so France has peaced out. Nice, 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 nice. So everything you take right now is gonna be yours. I can give you... Let's see here. Oh, that's in the trade note I kind of want. Interesting. Occupied by Liège. Um, can we just grab the money from you then? 
now. We don't get anything out of that. Brabrant is actually free, it seems. They got independence. If I grab Breda right now... Nah, it's gonna be a coalition. But England does not get upset then. A cardinal across the border. So uh, there's a chance I can get a cardinal. Uh, Flanders will get insulted with us. Yeah, that's fine. Give me a cardinal. It's gonna improve our uh, papal influence growth. Which is quite nice. How does the Pope like me, though? 64. I'm going to cancel this. And I'm going to send one over here to keep you liking me. And I think I can call this guy back as well. We have 100 spy network strength with him. So, you know. Uh, sure, I can help. So that's actually quite good. They take Liège took uh, answers, Anvers. Okay, that's interesting. But I'm essentially just waiting until I can grab this without getting a huge coalition against me. Anatomical theater, lose innovativeness, a local unrest, gain innovativeness, and lose prestige. But we get local unrest for 10 years. That's fine. We can be Like, my prestige is already horrible. It is absolutely dreadful. Ah, this is actually... This actually rose up to... F uh. No, it dropped again. It was 53 for every all of these nations down there. Which is interesting. Burgundy is trying to take this back. They are attacking us right now. The French are attacking my shit, and I do not appreciate it. England, help me out here. Can I white peace? No. Uh, aggressive expansion impact, minus five. Okay, can I grab this now? Almost. Really? Did that not just not calculate? It's on 50 exactly. There are essentially two nations, Galray and Utrecht, which will be upset no matter what. But if I wait one more year, I can grab this province and we can just peace out of this. With no problems. What if I demand this from Burgundy? It's the same. Burgundy is no longer a great power. Well, no shit. But France, you are really, really messing with me here. Do I attack into this? It's a 3-5 against a 1-5. He's got 12 infantry and 1 calf. Well, I could sortie get some extra troops. Let's actually go to speed 3 then. Uh, on the 2nd of July. So, you're here now. Let's sort these guys out. This is not going well, is it? Um, no, it's not. Looks like they're gonna be able to take my, uh, capital there. With 7% chance and they got it? You fucking assholes. Get over here and blockade them. I don't want them to stack by me. No, you're not, you know, you're not doing that, France. You're not doing that. Asshole. This is the second time my capital falls. Uh, I need to wait. I need to keep waiting until January of uh, 1470 for one province. And you're seizing it away from me. Ah, uh, you bastard. It's impossible to get there because we have to seize down my own fucking capital. Uh, we can demand it from uh, Burgundy, right? Uh, it's not controlled by me. Shit, can I... I can't get there. I have to go through the fort. I hate you so much. Why are you making this so difficult for me? Uh... 
I just want this province. Okay, so I should be able to siege this back. I hope. Cross my fingers here. So I can afford to have 13 of these ships with the sailors I have right now. Ah, oh, this is so much work. Let's go to speed forward then. If the French show up, I'll just, you know, give up. There's nothing else. You, and I got a disease outbreak. Ah, oh, I hate you so much. I hate you with a passion. And I don't even have... I don't even have a cannon yet. So I'm seizing this down old school with just throwing corpses at this. Dutch vassal. No, that's even worse. Okay. Did I get another disease outbreak? Is that what happened? I could technically get one horse out of there. And save myself some manpower, maybe. Uh, I don't want to lose stability. I don't. So England pieced out of the Burgundy War. Okay. I will call you from France. I'm gonna send you back to just all my allies here. You're actually demanding shit from me. You bastard. That's not gonna happen. I'm gonna take this, and then I'm gonna take Brabant of Breda, which is my war goal here. And you're gonna accept it, because it's mine. Hmm. So, can we get to here? Yeah. So if I take your capital... Fight Mont Breda, you will say yes, and only Galray and Ultrecht will be upset. Okay, give me this. Okay, get out of here. And Burgundy, I want as much cash as I can from you. That's a bit too much cash, apparently. Yeah, there we go. Burgundy, goodbye. So right now we are just at war with France and Scotland and those guys. Okay, let's go ahead and core this. Look at my war exhaustion! Holy shit! How much is the increase in cost here? 52%? That basically reduces the territory discount that I had from this. Is territory. Am I really gonna core this with this much penalty? I need to white peace from this war. But I can't. Oh boy. So how is my admin? We're ahead of time, so technically, yeah, fuck it, let's do it. Then. This is so expensive. This is so inefficient as well. Austria is seizing down Gelray. Uh-huh. People are borderline almost going to form a coalition against me. <sighs> Ooh, improved relations. Okay, so this should help me reduce my aggressive expansion by quite a bit, actually. Let's see here. Liege. It's dropping by 1.9. It was 1.5, so this is an increase of 30%, maybe? All right, all right. Uh... So there is the idea of going for innovativeness, get the optimism, but that would only help me right now. I don't know if it's going to help me in the future, though. Prestige decay, mercenary maintenance. Well, if we're going to go with a very rich country and just focus on mercenaries, maybe that's not a horrible idea, even if that's not the first idea I go for. Brabrant separatists, how many are we talking? 11,000, all right. Just sit over there. So Portugal was pieced out from this, and they annulled all alliances. So Portugal has no friends, and now this war is over. White peace. Nobody got anything. Really? My capital was sieged down again. 
But it looks like the devastation is gone. Yeah, the devastation is actually gone. And we are technically gaining some prosperity right now. Okay, you know what? I'll accept it. It's fine. It's fine. You guys are actually okay as well. Devastation is almost gone here as well. New trait research is heretical. I don't care. Uh, give me military technology. People wish to hire Condottieri. I don't want to do that. Let's go to speed three right now. So I got some new provinces. And I'm going to go ahead and build a church over here. But we did not get any new trade... Uh, like centers of trade or estuaries. Okay. We have Dutch noble rebels. They're furious because of the war exhaustion. I can understand that. And you want unlawful territory. Fuck off. Fuck you. Not only is it... Uh, you're making this so difficult for me. I wish I could change some wars... So I can finish this. But I can't afford this. I need my war exhaustion gone. So basically everybody within the HRE hates me. And it looks like France is the papal controller. Interesting. Interesting. So we are not off to a good start. I said this in the last episode as well. This start that we've had has been horrible. But we've doubled in size in like 30 years. Which is... I don't know, for the HRE, is that bad? I mean, development-wise, we've gained 16, 30 here, 40 development. Which is quite nice. We got, what do we have? Yeah, we have uh, 32, 43. Yeah. So that's nice. It's nice. The church is almost done. Once this core is done as well, we're going to make this into a state. And we're going to start making some more money. I can't give this to the uh, burgers because it's my capital. That's unfortunate. Hmm. Maybe we should move our capital at some point. But uh, it's not a priority. Definitely not. Okay, let's make this into a state and full core this. And you guys want more territory. So, let's see here. You want 15%. This is 16.8. So if I take this away from you and give you this one instead, you'll be happy. Okay, good. Good. I get to keep the province with zero autonomy then. That is always good. And the clergy still don't want any land, technically. So I could just take this away from them. So if I were to make you a generous donation and then take this away from you. Yeah. Okay. That works. So the only one who need territory right now are the nobility. And then I gave the burgers this. Okay, we are growing. That's at least something, I suppose. But we're capped on aggressive expansion. Completely capped. And... What I want next is... I don't know. Actually, you're not a part of the HRE. Oh, but you're a part of the Trade League. Okay. So, the thing is, there's something unique about East Frisia. Is they're not a part of the HRE. They're just, you know, over here. So, attacking him is cheaper, I think, when it comes to aggressive expansion. Because you're not attacking a member of the HRE. So there's that, but um, he's still Catholic in the middle of the HRE, so yeah, the aggressive expansion is still going to be high. But it's fine. National tax modifier, yearly legitimacy. That might be tempting. She's 27. So for 20 years, we would get 20 legitimacy. That seems kind of horrible. Interest per annum and yearly inflation reduction. How is our inflation right now? It's not that high. Lorraine declared war on Burgundy. Um, 
Diplo Rep. I, I think this is useful if you're annexing a nation. Yearly Prestige. Let's go for that. We need our Prestige. Diplo Rep. I even got the Diplo Rep anyway, so that's good. Stability Cost Modifier. Sure, you're a guy. I keep hitting the mic. I apologize. Uh, yeah, you can get access. That's fine. So, I'm going to boost you up by one and start drilling. Ah, ha, 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 ha. We're just going to watch the aggressive expansion drop and my war exhaustion as well. We might get some rebels here. We have Hussite heretics who are getting uppity here. If it comes down to it, I could just drop this, but I don't want to. We need the Diplo points for my idea group. Province war score cost. Mm, interesting. Let's just go to speed four while we wrap this up. Try to get some uh, pips on my generals and get some uh, army professionalism. You guys are not doing anything right now, so just go ahead and protect trade. I can support 17 ships right now. So let's get 17 lights. Now, seizeability is my strength. So we have a church to build in here. And if we build some workshops, what are we going to get? Amsterdam has cloth, so we'll go for that. But there's a mission to do five churches and five workshops. Which gives us admin and tax income plus 10. That's going to be interesting. Faith Sebastian. Uh, I don't have 500 gold right now. Bronze cannon. So the Ottomans have military tech 7. Four years ahead of time. That's interesting. Okay, the Hussite heretics looks like they're going to actually fire. Which is annoying. And the Frisian separatists might fire as well. Oh boy. They fired on top of my dudes. You guys have to attack my fort. So that's good. You're not going to get anything from that. So just attack into me, please. Walk into me, please. You cannot go across the river. You're getting blockaded by Ultrek there. Thank you. And you have been destroyed. Wonderful. Uh, I think I could just tell you guys to drill again. Frisian Separatists. Again. I did not want to have to wipe them out twice. Some of our boats are getting built. The price of paper is increased by 25%. Thank you, Ottomans. Wait, do I have paper? I haven't actually checked my trade goods. Not all of them. Let's see, what do we have? we have? We have four pieces of cloth, we have salt, and then we have cows. And I just lost a general, but not the dude that was drilling, so that's fine. All right, all right. Hmm. Legitimacy is horrible, so this is never going to get any better. Yeah. Because of my low prestige, my legitimacy is not even going up. Wow, this is a bad start. This is a bad start. I wish I could just kill this guy off and get my other one here. Jan. That would fix a lot of my problems. Austria declares war on Bosnia. Good luck. And looks like these guys are going to fire. So let's go ahead and move over here. Stop drilling. Uh-huh. How many are we talking? 13,000. Alright. Let's hope I don't lose too many men. And my prestige keeps dropping because I don't want to give up my monarch points. I don't even want to think about it. Come on. Okay, the, my morale is back up on my troops, so that's good. How is my autonomy now? 
Uh, it's not bad. This can go all the way down to zero, I think. So, Breda, Friesland, and Gummingen. You can go all the way down to zero. You, on the other hand, belong to one of states, the nobility. So this can only go down to 25. Yeah. And I lost my general before this. No, but I won. I lost a lot more men than I needed to, though. And I have no general. I think I should stop right now before I completely ruin my country. Holy shit. But we still have Austria and England as allies. No matter what, nobody can take that away from us. So far. Plus two Diplo rep, thank you. But anyway, I have to stop. I have to stop. I will see you guys in the next episode. But until then, see ya. And thanks for watching.